this part is not from our textbook, but I uh, want to highlight that uh, relational database is the right now the most still the most widely used database. However, there are new type of the non-relational database, and sometimes we call it non-SQL database because uh, relational database are using SQL, so non-relational database uh, can also be called non-SQL database. Non-SQL database now has been also uh, uh, very, very popular. So the reason is because for relational database, you have to follow the predefined structure. So you have to follow the predefined tables. Um, where like you have the primary keys, foreign keys, and also data type, etc., and that and and then you can insert data into your uh, database. So um, now since we have more and more data and also from different sensors, diff from different uh, devices, so the data amount is very huge, and also the structure is. Um, um, also change a lot. So we have various types of the data structures, data format. So because of that, relational database is not able to handle those um, various type of the data that now we are generating every day, every hour. So that's why we have those non-SQL database or the non-relational database. Uh, Normally, those non-relational databases uh, uh, cannot handle spatial data initially, but since now we have the, the because of demand of handling the different type structure of data at the real time, so many and many non-relational databases now start to support the spatial data. Okay. So one example that I'm going to give you is called MongoDB. So uh, if you are taking my data mining class, you will know that the MongoDB is one of the most popular non-relational database. And MongoDB now supports the spatial data. OK, so um, if you are interested, you can just watch this presentation. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure that when um, ArcGIS Pro will, will ArcGIS Pro will uh, S3 will uh, be able to support, be able to connect MongoDB. Probably next year when you take, <laughs> you're not going to take this class again, but next year I will tell you that okay, S3 now can connect, ArcGIS now can connect to MongoDB directly. So MongoDB uh, stores the data as a GeoJSON object which ArcGIS, or, uh, ArcGIS Pro is already, can, you can already import that one into ArcGIS, okay? Uh, ARCGIS, <coughs> okay? So, um, you can, GeoJSON cannot be uh, imported into ArcGIS Pro and also ArcMap. Um, so basically, so they store data into a JSON format. So JSON is a uh, is something like dictionary in Python. So for example, for point, it can has a key value pair. So type is point, and also it has coordinate of that point. Okay, and also for the line, and it has a type called line, and also it has coordinates, which is a a pair, a series of a point. A series of points, so two or multiple points, and the polygon. So polygon is uh, also have the type and as coordinates, but uh, the coordinates will be a nested list. So where you can see we have uh, multiple points, where the first point is the same as the last point. Okay, so here you can see they are still following the concept of the point line and also polygons we mentioned earlier. But we are using different way to organize the data. So point is, a is still a single pair of the coordinate. Line is a series, a set of the point. Uh, polygon. Okay, polygon is a set of points, but the first point is the same as the last point. Okay, so that um, so that the GeoJSON object, which can be stored in MongoDB directly, 
You can also import that one into ArcGIS Pro right now. Okay, so that is the spatial data database. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about is called data quality. So data quality is actually a, a very simple concept. So basically we talk about accuracy. Uh, so accuracy is that how close your mirrors is close to the to the right value, to the true value. So that is called accuracy. Uh, procedure is called is kind of the how consistent of your mirrors. So all the variance of your mirrors. So um, I think this uh, this chart uh, display explains the accuracy and also the precision um, very great. So uh, if you look at the accuracy, that means that how close your mirrors are um, that is close to the to the true target. So if you look think about the GPS points that you collected from different uh, signals to our target. So you can see here uh, you have a, a, a great uh, accuracy. And however, uh, in this case, you can see the accuracy is not very great. Okay, so that is because you can see here you are all far away from our target. So that is accuracy. So how close um, <coughs> is your are your mirrors uh, to your a target. Uh, precision is that how consistent. So in this case, you can say they are not uh, the pre precise because uh, every time you took a point, it's, it's, it's just random mirrors, so they, they are far away from each other. Okay, so it's not consistent. Uh, however, in this case, it is pretty, it's very precise because the, all of the mirrors are close to each other. So it's very consistent. Um, the variance is very small. However, it is far away from target, so it is not accurate. So the high quality data will be uh, have high accuracy and high precision. So in this case, it's close to the target and also very consistent. So the variance is very small. Okay, so those are the two mirrors of the data quality.